About two months ago, I heard about a company called Evergreen and they sell these stacked green hard drives and they mine a crypto called Chia. Chia. Well, I just received it today and we're going to set that up. The box arrived today. It was delivered by UPS. It took about a little over five weeks to get here. Uh, let's just check out what we have inside. Very well packed. Inside the box, we have another box, which is the Evergreen box. We have the Ethernet cable, a power cable, USB to micro B cable, the power adapter, and the power splitter that's going to allow us to power up multiple devices. Let's open up the Evergreen box. Inside here, we have the Hub Standard Edition. An NFT. I wasn't expecting this, but for someone who used to collect baseball cards, it was a nice surprise. And the expansion pack. Now I ordered the starter kit, which comes with a six terabyte drive. And I got the starter kit to just try this out and see where it goes, but you can buy multiple drives and then just stack them on top. They have a very smart design where the embossed logo only stacks on one way. If it's not in correctly, it'll wobble, but when it is in correctly, it's nice and secure and doesn't move at all. Let's go ahead and get this set up. We'll first connect the drive together. We're gonna use the micro B to USB cable here, and it's just a matter of plugging each end in. Next, we're gonna plug in the ethernet cable, and now we'll connect the power. They have these little adapters on, so depending on which drive or hub you're connecting to, you can just place the adapter on and plug it in. The other end of this cable is going to attach to the power supply. And then we're ready to go and plug this in. Over to my crypto closet where I have my other miners and other devices plugged in. I have this one set up and ready to go. I'm just going to get the app opened up. Inside the box, I have this QR code. I'm going to scan it and it's going to give me the directions to install this device. I have a Pixel phone, so I'm going to be using the Android setup. So I'm in the Google Play Store. I'll just tap on install and let it install. We can go ahead and open it up and we'll follow the steps here. So how about we set up a wallet first because I don't have a wallet. I'm gonna create a new one. So you can use a passphrase, which is recommended, or a pin. I'm gonna go ahead and use a passphrase. Okay, my password's entered. It's alphanumeric. It has some special characters, uppercase characters, lowercase characters, and a special character. We'll go ahead and tap on add. Wants to give it a nickname, call it crypto jar, click on next, and it's gonna generate a key. Okay, that's been created. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this. And now we're ready to set up our device, which is gonna be the next one in the list. Go ahead and tap that. So it's gonna to wanna to know my location. I'm gonna say only at this time and go precise. It's gonna look for the device on my network. Okay, that took a couple minutes while it scanned the network. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up now. We'll tap on set up. So our device is now set up. I'm going to create a backup of my wallet. Okay, I just backed up my wallet and now I'm going to go ahead and set up an evergreen account by tapping on this link. And uh, I guess I'm going to sign up here and put in my email address. Okay, that's all entered in there. I'm going to click on sign up, confirm, and I'm signed in. Looks like it's still installing my device as you can see right over here. What I'll do is I'll jump over to the next step when that's been complete. So it looks like the software update portion is done. Now it needs to set up a pool. It looks like it's automatically gonna to connect to flexpool.io. I'm gonna check the agreed to terms and conditions, and then I'm gonna click on submit. All right, it says it's setting up the farmer. Farming is set up. So we'll go ahead and close out of this. Okay, so the installation is now complete. I took care of pretty much all the actions that are in here. I'm just gonna to go to the home section and let that load up. Okay, so it looks like I am connected to the flex pool and my farming has begun. And what I'll do is I'll provide an update on the status of this, probably about a month or two down the road, just to let you know what my earnings are and the potential of this device. So that's how you set up the Chia farm using the Evergreen hardware. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. For everything that I'm using, I'll have links in the description below so you can easily find it. And if you have any questions, you go ahead and put them in the comments. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.